there's one thing we should never, well, okay, there's a lot of things we should never do, but today we're gonna talk about one thing we should never do when we're rotating in our golf swing, and I'm gonna give you two easy drills that we need to put together so that we can hit the shots we're looking for. Pretty good there. What we're doing when we're rotating in our golf swing is we're throwing our butt this way, forward, as we turn and move toward the target, which produces us losing our spine angle. We are rotating, but we kind of rotating this way and this way, and it gets us to either get stuck and hit it with a wide open club face, or we flip our hands and snap hook it, or from time to time, we top it. And this is something I do in my golf swing a lot. I get up like this, and we start getting the misses right and left, and nobody likes that kind of shot here. Just ugh, like this, you could see it. And what happens is, you're up here, you're rotating, and you're putting all this pressure on your lower back, like so, you're like, ah. We don't want any of that. But we have to know the feeling so that we can fix it. And uh, that feeling is this. Get yourself one of these little balls. Here's what you're gonna do. Put it right up against your, your butt here against the wall. Because what we're gonna do is gonna combine this drill with the next piece, and over time, you'll get it pretty quick. But just put this right up against your butt, right in the middle, right where the crack is. That's where you want the ball. Ball and crack, same spot. Now, when you take the club back, first off, if you're taking it too far inside, you're gonna hit the wall down here. So this is gonna help with many things. So take that club back, keep it up here. You should be able to get it this high without hitting the wall. Now, on your downswing, I want you to go from the crack all the way to your left butt cheek and into your hip here. You see that? So that ball, you're rotating like this, keeping your butt against the wall the whole time. If you come out of it, that's gonna drop. So this drill here is gonna help with piece number one. Do this, you know, like when you're working and you are sick of working, do this against the wall, wherever you are, like a thousand times. Think of it like push-ups. Do like 20, 50, 100, do like 100 of these every day. What you don't want to see happen here is on your backswing, you, you turn too far into that hip. You really wanna keep it on that crack, and then from here, turn it out to the um, left butt cheek, even into that left hip, while staying in your spine angle. This will not help you move your weight to the left side, but piece number two will. Quick uh, public service announcement for you. There are scammers that are trying to get your money. They will reply to your comments down below and pretend to be me. It is not me. I will never, ever, ever ask you for a penny, ever. Not for shipping, for nothing. So don't fall for those scams. If you get scammed, it's your own fault, okay? I'm sorry, but that's the world we live in. Back to the lesson now. I should really sell these with like my logo on them. Wait, let me know if you'd buy these, okay? If I sold them, comment below. But again, don't fall for the scammers down there, all right? Piece drill number two, after you do that, man, you're gonna feel like, ooh, but you're not really gonna transfer your weight with that, okay? Because part of the problem is we transfer early and then we try to rotate too and that gets us stuck and we hurt our back. So, and we stall out, a lot of bad things. So, here's what we do to fix everything. Right now, you got your butt piece working and your rotation staying and your spine angle staying down. All is good there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to still have that motion, but the first move here on your backswing is this. You're going to take it back here and here is going to be your move. It's the squat move, which you've seen, but you've never really seen it like this. And the feeling that you're going to have that um, is going to be odd, but it's a feel it's not gonna actually happen. So you're gonna take your club back like this, and then you're gonna, you know, you, you got your rotation piece, but that first move, I want you to squat down, 
onto your right, into your right foot, in the inside of your right foot, okay? You're squatting down, but put your club here, and as you squat down, I don't want your shoulders to turn at all, okay? If your shoulders turn, what happens is, those shoulders turn, you're coming over the top and you're getting steep, and then you're gonna do that again. I want your shoulders to come straight down into that right foot, and I want that club to, as you come down, I want it to go like this. So you almost feel like you're going like this. You're not going to, but I don't want you to drop into it like this. I don't want you to drop into it with the turn. I want you to drop into it like this and have this club kind of level out a little bit. And that will produce, okay, the drop down that you need and get that club in the slot here. And then you're rotating and pushing off of that right side to the left side. And then that produces all the correct movements and motions throughout your golf swing. And move number two will take a little more time than move number one, but eventually you'll just be able to kind of squat into that right foot and then rotate and drive to your left side. And you will start noticing that this becomes this in here. Much more powerful position here than this. And uh, our little uh, six irons will hopefully start looking more and more like this. Not too bad. Keep working on it. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.